Hey guys, just a quick September wrap up. I only read three books this month, which isn't a lot, especially for me, because I usually read about one or two books a week. Uh, it's usually pretty bad, but I had a really, really busy month this month. I started university again and didn't have much time left for reading. The books I did read, however, were The Girl Who Circumnavigated Through Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making which is quite a mouthful, by Catherine M. Valente. As usual, I'm probably mispronouncing the name, which is ironic because my name is Noortje de Graaf and no one can ever pronounce that except when you're Dutch. I really enjoyed this book, but it took me a long time to read. I'm not sure why, but I just... Um, I, I enjoyed it whenever I was reading it, but I just never read uh, too much in one sitting and I couldn't really uh, get into the story that much, but I still really enjoyed it, so I still really recommend it to anyone. And I can't wait to read part two. The main character is called September, which is ironic because I read it in September. So I read it at the perfect time. And she is unsatisfied with her life until the green wind, I believe, comes to her window and asks if she wants to go to fairyland. It's kind of a fairy tale book. It's, it reminded me of Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. And I definitely tried to copy uh, the same style kind of like an old-fashioned children's story but a lot of parts in here don't really seem very suited for children and there's a narrator in the book who often addresses the reader and in one part of the book he actually says that adults like you and i so i think it's meant to be for adults it was really funny to read a book that reads like a children's book but it's actually for adults or at least a little bit older children i won't say too much about it except that the illustrations are really cute and the overall story is good it was really excited it had some plot twists at the end that i didn't expect and i always like that because usually i can see them coming with most books but i didn't with this one and i really recommend it other book I finished was Ruby Red by Kirsten Gier. Um, this is a book that I first saw in Germany in the original version. And I loved the way the cover looked in the German version. It's different from this one. Although this one's gorgeous as well. But although I can speak and read German, uh, my German isn't that amazing. And I've read some German books, but when I really like a book and I think I'm really gonna like it, I prefer to read it in English because then... It's just way more enjoyable because I can understand it fully and don't have to look up words and don't have to guess what the sentence means. I can just understand everything that's in it. This book is about time travel, which I absolutely love. There's a family that has the time travel gene and every now and then someone gets the gene and starts to travel back in time. The main character doesn't have the gene. Her cousin has the gene and she's going to travel in time and she's always a special one and she gets all the attention. But then one day Gwen, the main character, doesn't start to feel that good and she travels back in time instead of her cousin. So she's actually the one who has the gene and she is the time traveler that's known in some sort of prophecy as the Ruby which is why it's called Ruby Red. It's really good. I really recommend it. I read it in, I think, about a day. It was really good. I can't wait to read part two and three. I ordered them on Book Plus 3, but they still haven't arrived yet. The last book I read was the first book in the series called Monster High by Lisey Harrison. Um, it was definitely not what I expected. It was funny, though. I really liked it. It was a light, funny read. Um, some things didn't seem very plausible to me. The concept is that there are monsters. The monsters we all think are fake in movies, they're real. And they live in this little town called Salem, where normal, ordinary people also live. Um, they are called normies. And the monster community is in hiding. And then there's this girl, Frankie. She's just been born. She's the granddaughter of the monster Frankenstein. And she doesn't understand why they have to hide. She wants to be a monster with pride. But when people see her, they panic and they scream monster. And it's on the news and everyone has to go and hide because the monsters are out. Which seems really weird to me because normal, everyday people would just assume you're wearing a costume. No one would actually think that it's a monster and the news wouldn't take it that seriously. But who knows, it might be in a different reality. It might be a different version of our world where stuff like this does happen. I took it with me on the train to read uh, as I was going to uni or and back. And it was just a really fun night read. So if you want something easy and cute, 
I definitely recommend this series. Those were all the books I read this month. It's kind of a short uh, wrap up but I hope you like them. I'll probably make a couple of separate review videos or I might make a blog where I post reviews of books that I don't make a video of just so you can look it back and look in more detail of what I thought than just what I say here from the top of my head. I'll try to read more next month and have a bigger wrap up video. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this then please subscribe. Doei!